Ever since the Bank of England was established maybe 200 years earlier, London was the financial capital of the world. And the ruling currency in the world was the British sterling pound. His Majesty the sterling pound. But now at Bretton Woods something strange happens. The Bretton Woods Agreement confers upon the U.S. dollar the status of the ruling currency. And the Bretton Woods Agreement confers upon Washington the status of the financial capital of the world. Because the International Monetary Fund is now located in Washington. The British didn't like that at all. The World Bank is located in Washington. The British didn't like that at all. So here is the second tangible evidence that Britain has now conceded and the United States has now taken over as the ruling power in the world. And then came a third and even more dramatic evidence. In 1952, a revolution took place in Egypt and the Egyptian king, Farouk, was overthrown by the military. The military put General Muhammad Naguib, or Najib, as the president. But he was like a figurehead, really, because there were a group of officers who really controlled the thing. Muhammad Naguib remained as the president from 1952 until 1956. But in 1955, there was a very important conference of Asian and African states which took place in a city in Indonesia at the Bandung conference it is not Muhammad Naguib who goes to represent Egypt, but rather a man named Gamal Abdel Nasser. That's a sign of who is in charge. The next year, 1956, Gamal Abdel Nasser replaces Muhammad Naguib as the president of Egypt. Shortly after that, same 1956, he nationalized the Suez Canal. Who built the Suez Canal? The French. For Dinando Lissops, who was the French engineer. And then the French and the British came together in a joint control of the Suez Canal. Gamal Abdel Nasser nationalizes the Suez Canal, removes the French and British troops which were there, and Egyptian troops now take control of the Suez Canal. This is as plain and as clear an act of defiance and of confrontation with Britain as you could possibly find. In order for Britain to have any vestige of a claim to be a superpower, Britain has to respond, must respond. Well, what Britain did was, strangely, mysteriously, Britain kept the United States out. And the British and the French joined with Israel and these three countries invaded Egypt. They landed in Suez and they took control of Suez. And the Israeli army swept through the Sinai Peninsula and took control of the whole of Sinai 
and the Israeli army reached to the Suez Canal. General Dwight Eisenhower said, no, I will not allow this. Go back. Can you tell Britain that? Withdraw your troops. Go back. Will Britain obey? Sir Anthony Eden was the British Prime Minister. Guess what Britain had to do? Huh? Britain had to withdraw its troops. And France had to withdraw its troops. And the state of Israel had to withdraw its troops back to Israel. Because the American president said, no, I will not permit it. Go back. So here you have the third, the most dramatic of all evidence that the United States of America has now taken over from Britain as the ruling power in the world. And that the United States of America still has this strategic relationship with the State of Israel. I have taken pains to mention dates because I want you to calculate. That was a day like a year and this is a day like a month. What comes after this? Now is the time you have to think. And if out there in Indonesia they could understand it so easily and so quickly, grasp it so quickly, there is no reason why you cannot. In order for Dajjal to complete his mission, he has to move from a day which is like a month to a day which is like a week. If when he was in a day like a year, he was in one territory, and that was the ruling territory, the ruling power, and then in a day which is like a month, he moved to another territory, and that country became the ruling power, it follows therefrom that when he moves to a day which is like a week, he will move to a third place, a third country. And that country will now replace the United States of America as the ruling power in the world. But it will not rule for long. Just a short time. Which will be that territory? China? Ready? You think so? Anybody else? Israel, Israel of course.